As a neonatologist, I get a ton of questions. So I thought I'd go ahead and put the top 10 questions that I get from families about babies. If you haven't been to my channel before, I'm Dr. Ford and I'm here to answer your baby questions. You'll want to stay all the way to the end because the last one I'm going to do is the question that I get asked the most and you'll want to know the answer to that. So stick to the end. My baby poops green. Is this normal? The quick answer is yes, if the baby is a couple of days old. This green colored poop is called meconium. Why is it green? It's green because it contains a high concentration of bile. Bile is actually green as well. Now, as the baby starts eating uh, maternal breast milk or formula, then it will actually start turning a little bit yellowish custardy kind of color. It's kind of nasty, but it does so because now there's more fat going into that poop. But at first, a lot of it is bile. Therefore, it's green. My baby cries a lot. Any tips to help them? Well, crying is a normal way for babies to communicate. Uh, they could either be bored, they could be angry, they could have a you know poopy diaper, wet diaper, or they may just be tired. And so it's a way for them to talk to the parents. You will learn what type of cry it is that they're trying to let you know. There is something called colic. Colic, remember the rules of three, occurs at around three weeks and it's crying for more than three hours, three times a week, and usually lasts for up to three months. Now, there is absolutely nothing going on with a baby when there is colic, so you have to rule out all the other bad stuff. And talk to your pediatrician if you have questions about this. But if there's nothing else going on, then colic is just basically a fussy, irritable baby. What you have to do is you have to find a way to soothe your baby. Every baby's different. You can do massage, you can do bathing, you can just, you know, walk around, uh, go with your stroller, walk around the neighborhood. You can even drive them in the car to help them soothe and calm down. It's important to remain calm when a baby has colic. Find a lot of support to help you and remain calm. Find your own ways to soothe yourself. How can I make my baby smarter? Well, we all as parents want our babies to be really smart. One thing you can do for especially for language development is doing a lot of reading. They really learn by repetition. The other thing you can do is music. Same kind of concept. You put some music, it doesn't have to be baby music. It can be other types of music. That's going to help the auditory, the language development, and of course, neurodevelopment. Why are babies blue when they're born? Is this normal? Yes, this is absolutely normal. The environment inside when they're inside mom has lower levels of oxygen. Now babies are really smart and the oxygen that they're getting from the placenta through mom, they extract a lot of that so they can take it to all the organs that they need. When the baby comes out and they cut the umbilical cord, they're no longer connected to mother. So now they have to figure out where do I get oxygen? the lungs. So they take a nice deep breath, they really get all that oxygen inside the body, and that's when they start turning from blue to lighter blue to pink, and then they get the normal color. Can giving so many vaccines at the same time hurt my baby? Well, there really isn't any evidence showing that giving multiple vaccines or spreading them out one or the other is better. Now, as far as vaccines themselves, you know, back in the days, there were some chemicals that were thought to possibly cause some harm, although there was no real strong evidence showing that. However, those chemicals have been removed from the vaccines, so it is now very safe to get vaccines. In fact, what you're doing is you're protecting the baby from actually getting the really bad disease. These vaccines help them to prevent from being in the hospital, from getting really sick, or the worst thing. So vaccines extremely important for babies, for anybody, but definitely for your baby with a low immune system. I heard shaving a baby's hair early makes them grow thicker. I heard that as well. The reality is it's not true. You see, when you're shaving, you're actually not affecting the hair follicle, that little bud where the hair comes out. So what you're actually doing is getting rid of all the hair and then every follicle produces that hair around the same time, which makes it look thick and full. But the reality, 
no difference at all. My baby poops all day. When will it ever end? Poop is a big topic. If a baby's taking breast milk, it's common for them to have about three to five stools a day. If they're on formula, they can usually have one or two a day. Now this goes on for the first couple of months. At around month two or three, that begins to transition very quickly actually, within a matter of days or a week, it transitions to having a stool one every other day to actually sometimes having one stool, one stool for the whole week. This can be really scary because you're used to having five, 10 stools a day. Sometimes even 20 is normal a day, as long as they're well formed and not causing any harm. But then you suddenly go to just having one a week. So a lot of parents call the pediatrician because of constipation. Obviously, make sure that the stool is nice and soft, that the baby's not straining. If we're doing okay, once a week can be very normal. Any concerns, always call your pediatrician. If you're liking what you're hearing, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more baby stuff. All right, let's keep it going. How can I get my baby to sleep all night? Of course, every baby is different. At first, when a baby comes from the hospital, you want to make sure that a baby's feeding every three to four hours because we don't want their sugar to drop in their blood. So you got to feed them so they can maintain their good level of sugar. As they get a little bit older, they can actually begin to progress within the first month or two to sleeping all through the night, if you're lucky. Most babies will actually wake one or two or maybe three times during the night because they're not used to it. Some of the tricks that you can try are similar for all the children. You want to bring down the light, you want to bathe them prior to going to sleep, Maybe put some very, very light music in the background. If any, you can try doing some massages. For those babies that are you know, beyond the two months and they're safe going beyond four hours, you, you might have to train them a little bit. Of course, if I get offered a chocolate cake every three hours in the middle of the night, I might be waking up as well. So if you hear them crying, it's okay to let them cry a little bit. Let them know that you're there, but you're not gonna go every single time to feed them. How do I protect my baby from getting infections? Well, during the first year, it is actually very common for babies to get infections. They can get up to 15 or 20 infections that year. That means that they can have more than one infection per month. Usually these are viruses and viruses will last five to seven days. What you can do is always wash your hands. That is the best thing you can do to protect from infections. Not only before you touch a baby, but also afterwards so you don't spread what the baby has to the rest of the family. You also want to avoid big, huge crowds or anybody who has any sign of infection. If you have a family member that wants, wants to come over and they're telling you they have a cold, I would stop that. You don't want to expose a baby to other infections because they are prone to getting it. So you made it this far, which means you want to know what is the most common question that is asked about babies. And that is, when can I take my baby out after coming from the hospital? There isn't a specific day, time or month or anything like that for babies. It is actually very healthy for babies to come out within the first couple of weeks and when I say that, I mean around the neighborhood. You want to minimize the bright lights of the sunlight. So you want to minimize taking them out after 10 a.m. and probably not until 4 or 5 p.m. when the sun uh, heat has come down. You can have a very light covering on top of your little carriage so that you don't expose them to other families. And you can always say, hey, I have a newborn. I'd rather you don't approach. If you really have to see a family member, you can ask them to wear a mask and you do it outside where there is no close quarters, no close exposure. And of course, they might not be able to touch your baby because you do not want to transmit whatever they have to your baby, especially during these times. That's it, folks. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions about babies, put, put them in the comment section and like this video if you like it. And I will see you with the next video. If you want to know more about going out, go ahead and click right here the video on five tips on how you can go out safely after you come home from the hospital.